We're talking Chelsea. Um, Vlad is a Chelsea fan. Hello, Vlad. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you for having me on. Just want to say, uh, Darren, big fan. But you said that Chelsea fans have been spoiled for 20 years. And I'll hold my hands up. You're completely right. Uh, but I don't want to give it up. Uh, we, we, mm. We've had such success by sacking managers quickly. New era, new tempo every season. You look at the season that Conte came in and the season before that. Such a change in pace. And now we're being told as Chelsea fans to wait two or three years for a project. That's never happened before. It's never needed to happen before. We've always been very quick to bounce back. So it's impossible for Chelsea fans to go, yeah, we'll mm. give them three years. Um, it's just unreasonable. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. I know you'll say Arsenal, great project over a couple of years, but it's so anti-Chelsea DNA. We've mm. always been the bad guys who sack managers and then get success. And now, what are we, a project team? Do you know what? I get that because when I'm looking at Ant- Antonio Conte, he won the league, but before that, you were 10th, weren't you? With Gus Hiddink. Exactly, exactly. We've been through it. We, you know, I, I don't. Anyone who tells me two or three years is against my entire Chelsea fandom. I watched our team go from terrible to wild beaters with a switch in formation and one or two signings. Instead, now we've got to wait three years for a project. Cucurella's got to turn good after sixty million. We tried to buy Anthony Gordon for sixty million. I don't quite understand what's going on. Yeah, do you know what? I t- and again, that that's that was where bizarre, wasn't it? It was bizarre, but you're Thanks, right. Vlad. How how do you get that? Because for Chelsea Football Club, we've seen Watford try it and it not work at all. But with Chelsea, right? You don't win a trophy, not successful. We bring someone else in, they win something. I guess if you're a Chelsea fan, I know I know part of you who, if you're a footballing purist, would go, no, but I want to see us build something, bring some of the academy kids in. Why do you want to see that? You should know what you. You don't want to see that at all. See, it's all about recruitment at Chelsea. At the moment, I think they've got it dramatically mm. wrong. I don't think um, um, João Felix is, is the answer to Chelsea. He's a good player, though. I think he'll make a difference. But he's not prolific. And I they know, need a number nine. I know, that's the strange thing, but he is a good player, and I think he will make a difference. Uh, let's speak to David, uh, who's up next. Hi, David, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good, thank you for coming on. What would you like to say as a Chelsea fan? Uh, yeah, I'm a massive Chelsea fan. I just want to say um, I'm in massive support of Graham Potter. I, I thought... When he signed Billy Gilmore, when he was at Brighton, I called it then that he could step in as a Chelsea manager in the future. Didn't quite realise it would be as quick as it had. Um, I think he'll do a good job, given the, ch- given the chance. I think there's certain windows... Uh, uh, sorry, I think there's certain managers that are good managers, and I think there are certain managers that don't do very well in windows. And I think Tuchel was a manager that struggled in transfer windows. He's a great manager, but I think he struggled in the transfer window and I think Graham Potter will be the opposite I think give him transfer windows and he'll build a strong Chelsea side that we know and what we want when you say give him transfer windows and he'll build a squad do you think he's responsible for players coming into the club well he's going to have a list of players that he wants to bring into the club that will fit a system and a dynamic that he wants to drive forward Um, then it's down to the club to get the players that he wants and I think we've made a massive fault in letting Marina Granaskova go yeah, and Patrick they've done a massive you know look, look at the, the, the players that we brought in over the years under under Marina Granaskova the business she'd done getting Hazard out for the money that we got from Hazard yeah. she was incredible and we've got no one like that to replace what, the business what she was doing and I think it shows when we were trying to sign players like Haaland, they weren't even looking at us. Like In the same light that Man City, we're, we're, we're not there at the moment. And I think getting rid of Granis Gover and Petr Cech was a massive yeah. mistake. Yeah, I hear, David, um, David, I hear what you're saying. Let me quickly take one more call. Thanks for your time, David. Uh, Larry's a Chelsea fan. He's up next. Hello, Larry. Right, boys. How are we doing? We're good. We're good. very well. What would you like to say as a it, Chelsea fan? As a Chelsea fan, I think I'd, I'd agree with the previous caller. I think, you know, we've got our recruitment completely wrong. Um, there's no strategy around it. Um, you know, there doesn't seem to be any kind of method to the madness of what, what we're doing. But I, I, I just think, you know, we're not used to, you know, we're not used to giving people time. Um, and I desperately want Graham Potter to, to do well. But, you know, we, had, we were objectively bad, abjectly bad uh, against Man City in the Cup. Like, you know, just had no idea what, and obviously, you know, Graham Potter is struggling with that set of players to get his thoughts and opinions of how they should play over to them. Um, I mean, I don't know what you guys think. Do you know, when, when you talk about recruitment, and listen, that was a great call, Larry. When you talk about recruitment, right, it's not just Graham Potter's fault about the players they're bringing in, because even way before he got here, you talk about Kepa, what, what nearly 70 million. You People like him, Pulisic hasn't set the world alight. Higuain, then you had people like 
the next week, yeah, that Kai Havertz, I know he scored in the Champions League final, but we're still waiting for him to yeah. really explode. Yeah. Yeah. Timo Werner, Hakim Ziyech, Mendy. Do you know what I mean? So, it's been way... Have they Luk- brought anyone in and you've gone, wow? <sighs> Luka- they sound Lukaku. That didn't work? Didn't work. Probably the, probably the one you'd say that's probably... has been probably their, one of their better signings of late would be Thiago Silva. Yes. He, he has been yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. But for, we're still waiting for Far- for Farno. Yeah. Kukurea, Sterling, these are all players... Even Koulibaly that, looks like an awful buy, doesn't it? But these are all before Potter yeah. got there. Yeah. 